What up, homies? Carl here. Bulls on Wall Street. Let's unpack uh, the action today. A little bit of a, a dead day in you know the overall indexes. We finished up 0.24%, but the action was still pretty solid across uh, a few different uh, a few different types of stocks. So we are currently in the Goldilocks zone of the market where we're trending up the bone zone here. And when this happens, like this is your time to shine. This is when you're going to get big ranges. This is when you're going to get hot breakouts. This is when dips get bought. Deep pullbacks will get bought. You know what I mean by that is when you're in the Goldilocks zone, you know, when you get like these like morning dips, right? Like, you know, you see the Apple dump like four or five points. You're like, fuck, here comes the, you know, bear raid. And then they just rip back, right? And so that's what happens in the Goldilocks zone. That's how trading changes. Bear flags become buy spots often in hot markets when you're looking at, you know, intraday charts, you know, and you see this over and over. You know, you may see a stock like, you know, AMD, and it just pulls back huge at the open, and it looks all choppy and choppy, and then it just starts hanging at support. And then you start to build up steam into the close, right? And this is like a very, very common type of setup that you'll see in these kind of markets, you know. You just chop and you will pull back and it looks like, oh, man, these things are so extended. And then they'll come back to the 50 EMA. They'll start the hold and then you push into the close. You know, and this is, you know, this has been happening a lot. So, you know, right now the market is overbought. It's a little bit slightly extended, but not parabolic. But we you know we're getting into that zone where we could use some rest days or a slight pullback, you know, shake out, something along that end, because you're kind of at the top of the Bollinger. You had a 98 stochastics, you know. We're getting there, but once again, you know, if we get there and we get that stretch, you know, maybe we have one down day, two down days, you know, till something structurally changes, we're probably not gonna have, right? Like a really nasty thing. You know, like, you know, when we had this for a few days, you know, it was like, oh wow, inflation is back, this is gonna happen, X, Y, Z is happening. And so we had like a nice kind of four or five day pullback, you know, same thing over here, right? You know, there was like, there's news involved, but in absence of news, markets tend to grind higher. So just something to kind of keep in mind of. Let's get into the watch list. Uh, guys, also uh, last day of our 4th of July special, we got a 60% off across the board chat rooms. I got a trio package that you'll like. It's all of our chat rooms. We got futures, options, day trading, swing trading, and in our Discord, and I, the combination of them is, I believe, a thousand bucks. And if you're already a member, you can just tack it onto, you know, whatever membership time you have left, you know, and save it in your back pocket. Uh, that's, so that's going on for one more day. Let's get into the watch list and I'll post it in the little thing here. It fades like into the, you know, top right or whatever. All right. Let's get into this. So what do we want to play for tomorrow? AMSC. Hey, man, these tech stocks are still hot. This company is sick. I have no clue what they actually do, but the name is amazing. American Superconductor Corporation. Say that 10 times in a row. American Superconductor Corporation. American Superconductor. It's pretty cool, right? It just sounds like a cool name. You know, superconductors obviously just sound pretty sick too. And you can't argue with the chart, right? It's only 28 million share float. It's about to bust loose to this huge breakout over here. You know, if it kind of clears off this 30 spot and we're grinding our way towards there, up 10% today, sick range on this nice ATR, you know, 10%, two and a half dollars. Uh, that's more than enough to really come in with some nice shreds. Love this name. Let's get a week open on this. Any kind of week open on this tomorrow. Uh, this is top of the list. Uh, Dell computers. Dude, what got up Dell's, you know, pooper today. You got to makeshift trend line break. I don't know if this is a real trend line break, but <laughs> it, it looks like it, right? It looks like it. It's like, you know what? It's something about these trend lines. It's like the more lines you draw, the smarter you look, right? It's I'm going to just draw them all up. But no, no joke, it, it does have a, a kind of a horizontal, vertical, diagonal level that it's starting to, you know, peak out of. But the main thing is it's just been, it's digested its earnings. It, it shit the bet on earnings. It's been hugging this 50-day moving average nonstop, getting defended. And so this level is big, right? This 50-day moving average is big. To me, it looks almost like a swing trade if you can get it close to the 50. 
because this level's been holding. So I love the look of this. Let's let's shred uh, ENVX. You know, we've been talking about this for a couple days. I think it needs an inside day here now, and then, you know, come Wednesday, we can shred that one. AMD, guys, this is a great trader. You got the liquidity. You got the boots, the coots. Look at the volume accumulation over here. You know, always a little bit of a tell. Now, obviously, it's outside the upper Bollinger Band. You're at 90 stochastics. You can't chase it up on a gap, but if it any weakness on this, like if it gaps down three, four bucks or something, watch the dip buyers come in on this thing. We want to keep this on our watch list for the next couple of weeks. VST, you know, this thing is getting defended too, man. You have a big up day, then inside day, and now you got this nice range break setting up here. If it rips this 93, then, you know, maybe you get back into the 100 spot. Love the look of this. You know, normally this is a little bit more of a, a boring kind of name, but finished up 3% today, you know, trades a little bit in the option side, nothing crazy, but just, a, you know, not many of these kind of bottoming stocks left. You know, obviously this big dip down, and then now you got multi-month consolidation here. I won't be surprised, you know, see this thing kind of fill into this area over here. Hey, AVGL, the split is coming. You know, let's see if we ramp this thing back up into highs. You know, after the sideways day, you had a nice range on this today, 42 points. Totally tradable. You've got, uh, you know, decent enough liquidity on the option side to come in and trade these, you know, kind of weeklies on this. Not bad. A ULS. This is probably a little bit more of a swing setup. But let's, you know, let's see if we could day trade it too. You know, it's got an IPO breakout spot at 44, let's call this. You know, if that takes it out, then, you know, this could be pretty explosive. It's only 30, 38 million share float. Uh, Okta, really nice day today. You know, nice. We've been putting this on the block for a few days. It needs maybe a sideways day here in the 90 EMA to kind of catch up right there. And if it breaks this trend line, I think you're going to get this thing right back into, the, you know, right back into these highs, the way the market's looking. Uh, Palantar is finally breaking out of range here. It's run out of a, a little bit of steam due to, you know, the extension the last five, six days. You know, what we want to see is uh, any kind of inside day or inside, you know, sideways day. And I think that um, I think this will be pretty hot. So let's um, let's roll with this thing, too. Um, needs us inside day or some type of pullback close to the 90 EMA and then we shred it. Snapchat. Dude, it held the 50-day moving average, the 20 and the 9, right? Kind of coalescing here. 17 is the breakup. I think if we get the look, then we want to be in before that. LNG, nice high-type flag here. You know, decent enough, a little more of a scalper, but it's got good enough range here. Crowd, you know, it tested into it and then faded right back off. There's a little bit of sector weakness on this, but I think this is still a, a valid setup. And then, you know, we got all Reddit here, which tested the all-time highs, got rejected. Now you're starting to tighten up here. Any kind of weak open, I think this 90 EMA will tighten up, and then we're going to get the breakout on this thing. Let's roll. Kava also tested resistance and pulled back. I wouldn't call this a fake breakout just yet. But uh, definitely you don't want to see that, you know, as you're kind of coming into this. So, you know. We need to see a close over this level to really kind of consider it a breakout at this point. Um, shop, test of the 67.50. Inside day, I think tomorrow this could break that 68 if the market holds up. Pan W did get shredded at the open, and then you had a little bit of a reversal. I consider that a, a bullish little kicker over there. Like this for tomorrow, potentially. Lulu, test, test, test. We got a little bear flag life. Looking good. Uh, for a breakdown, 294-ish. And then Nike also taking out its earnings lows. Dude, gap down, sideways consolidation, boom. Right, you got good range on this thing. You know, even the options trade pretty good. Look at this, 7,000, 5,000, and they're cheap, right? Like you can fucking, you know, you can mess around with some of these. You know, it's like penny options trading, right? That's where the real degens hang out but look at this stuff right so this is you got good fucking range on this stuff for the swearing dude this thing was three percent but look at this you know 12 cents to 80 cents man that's good money right there man that's real good money so let's this is top of the list for tomorrow man if we can get it and then of course etsy had a breakout breakdown too test 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 broke it down with a little oomph Extra kick here in volume, all you can ask for, man. Let's go shred this. Guys, uh, smash that like button. Leave me a comment. 
You know, leave me a comment. Tell me that you love me. Make me feel good. I got feelings, man. I love you guys, man. Peace.